Hi, my name is Tolly McGettigan. I'm the product manager for outdoor power equipment at Horizon Distributors. I want to talk to you today about battery operated equipment. And specifically, you know, the first question I get when we're selling it is how long is it going to run? And, and what, can I, what can I count on it to do? And the, and the answer I've always got is it depends. Um, it really depends on how, how big the battery is, what the conditions are, is the grass heavy? Um, so there's a number of things that go into it. But one thing you can do to figure it out is you take a look at the battery itself and you've got a number of cells that are in here. I spoke in another video about the 18650 battery and this is loaded, this particular one has 14 18650 cells in it. Now, the only way to get more power is to add more cells, right? So the more cells you do, the drawback to that is it's heavier, right? So instead of having a nice lightweight handheld piece of equipment, you may have to have a backpack on that has more battery power with it. So the manufacturers are trying to find the best combination of weight and power to be able to get the best performance for the, for the customer. So the simple way to do it, to figure out you know, how much power we've got is to take a look at what the gas tank looks like, right? The electrical gas tank, and that's calculating watt hours. So the simple equation is voltage times amp hours is gonna give you watt hours. So in this example right here, we've got an Echo 56 volt battery and it's a five amp hour battery. So if we take 56 times five, we're gonna get 280 watt hours. If you take a Makita XGT battery, that's gonna have, it's a 40 volt, five amp hour, that's gonna give you 200 watt hours. So the easiest calculation across any manufacturing line is just to take your voltage times your amperage, and that's gonna give you your watt hours, which will give you the best idea of how much power is in that battery to be able to take care of your landscape needs.